Um, events of this magnitude, of this scale and scope, um, don't just happen without a deep keel commitment from a number of uh, partners, if you will. Um, certainly funding partners to that extent. Um, incredible, the province of Alberta stepping up as such. Certainly uh, the city of Edmonton, uh, to say the least. Uh, if you wouldn't mind passing on our very best wishes and, great, uh, and, and grateful, uh, very much so, for the opportunity. And of course, the city of Red Deer. Uh, you know, this just doesn't happen unless you've got that visceral connection to this event in the first place. And everyone in this room, I believe, does, and certainly those that have spoken have as well. Uh, that being said, there's a relationship, too, that exists between ourselves and Hockey Alberta, for example, uh, and an important um, recognition, if you will, simply because high performance and the program of excellence with Hockey Canada actually feeds grassroots development, if you will. Um, children play the game because they're inspired because of such events and events and, and we certainly appreciate the opportunity uh, to watch uh, Hockey Alberta uh, take this commitment very seriously. So Rob, to you and your group, thank you very much. There's also another partner that we have to recognize here that plays a vital role in what this team looks like, um, really from top to bottom, and that is the Canadian Hockey League. And Ron, thank you for being here today as part of the Western Hockey League and its leader, uh, but also as part of the trio of visionaries as their worship identified with the Canadian Hockey League. Uh, our roster is for the most part made up of Canadian Hockey League players and it speaks volumes for the development that happens within our communities across this country and the opportunity that these young men get to play the game of hockey and certainly represent their country through this journey called high performance. Uh, so we're grateful to the Canadian Hockey League of course uh, for the opportunity to tap in great into great resources such as their outstanding players and citizens. There's a legacy that's left behind here as well, and one that we have to recognize from a couple of different points of view. Um, as we participate in this competition, it's international in every scope that you can possibly imagine, we recognize too the opportunity for um, smaller communities in Alberta to be very much a part of this uh, uh, event, if you will. And with that in mind, we'll look at uh, a number of communities that will host pre-competition games uh, prior to the championship itself here in Edmonton and Red Deer. And with that being said, recognize the opportunity for uh, development programs that will take place uh, through seminars and symposiums, through on-ice and off-ice activities that will engage, again, uh, the children uh, that love to play this game and that we so desperately need to take care of as we move forwards of being, as being stewards of the game and our citizenship in general. Also with that being said, there's another legacy that we have to pay particular attention to, uh, and that is the gala uh, event that we host every year and every June. Um, Doug Goss, as Esther mentioned, is here as the chair of the Hockey Canada Foundation, as is uh, Ashif uh, Zanul. And uh, although your wife is not, and, as the, sorry, Ashif and Zanul, uh, Maje, and although Zanil is not here, uh, we want to recognize you uh, for co-chairing along with your wife uh, this great opportunity to identify with the game in a different manner and that is by celebrating the Order of Hockey in Canada, which is a cornerstone of this event, uh, as well as, and we hope, uh, championship teams that might have participated and had success in that particular season. With that all being said, we look forward to next June, Doug, uh, and your leadership, uh, yourself as well, Ashif, and your wife, uh, with respect to that gala event. Um, it's been fabulous in the, in the past, and it will be again. And in closing again, thank you very much, Edmonton. Thank you very much, the province of Alberta. Thank you very much, the community of Red Deer. Uh, we appreciate this deep keel commitment, as I mentioned earlier. We'll do everything we can to make you very, very proud to be Canadian again through um, the combination of Hockey Canada, yourselves, and the great players that represent our country from coast to coast to coast. Thank you very much.